What's going on guys? So we are at Patriot Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, my backyard, the Great Smoky Mountains. Unfortunately, Great Smoky Mountains, even though it's the most visited national park in the country, it is uh, not super dog friendly. So in today's video, we're going to show you some cool things you can do with your dog if you ever come on vacation in Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg area. So Patriot Park is just a loop. Um, it's not too long. I'm not sure what the exact measurement on how long it is, but it's a nice little place to come walk your dog. It's pretty quiet, there's a lot of other dogs here. So if your dog's dog aggressive, it might not be a good idea. It does go by the river. So on pretty days, you can uh, let your dog take a swim, hang out. Um, there's also trees up if hammocking is your thing. There's a lot to do here. It's just kind of a relaxing place right here in the middle of Pigeon Forge. And you can get a lot done. There's also a campground that pushes up again. So if you're a camper, and you want to be somewhere and your dog could play, it's not a bad spot. It's a park in Sevier County that's dedicated to all the veterans who came from Sevier County and served during a war time. A lot of the things you're going to see from Patriot Park is memorabilia from uh, wars past and things like that. The hub of it is the Patriot Missile, which was made famous during the first Gulf War. Um, when you walk in, pretty much right from the parking lot, you'll see it. You'll see a memorial wall. Have the uh, Liberty Bell behind me that gets lit up at nighttime. And then also they have all 50 states flags flying along with the four armed uh, forces branches flags flying. Memorial Day and July 4th at this park gets a little crowded. So if you're coming during those times, expect a big crowd. But for the most part, it's usually not too bad. Um, we've came up here and hung hammocks before and just hung out for hours and listened to music by the river. So that's it for Patriot Park. The next place we're going to show you guys is the island. There's a few places you can take your dog to eat at the island. You can go to Mellow Mushroom. You can go to uh, Yeehaw Brewery. The island will be the last place we go to in this video. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more places you can take your dogs in Pigeon Forge, we live here, so I'm sure we'll do more of them. So we're not at the island. I don't know if you guys can see the mountains behind me. It's a little cloudy today. So one thing about coming here, if you do bring your dog, uh, you will not be able to use the tram system to get into the island. So you're going to have to walk. It's not too far of a walk. It's not too bad, but thought I'd give you a heads up. Be prepared to walk when you come because it's a little bit of a walk, but it's not bad at all. So as we said earlier, the Mellow Mushroom is dog friendly. She just kind of hangs out on the table while we eat. Good things to eat and drink all over the island. So highly recommend you bring your dogs here. So we're gonna eat our food and I'll get right back with you. We just got done eating. I found a little back alley because it's a little bit quieter here. I was able to talk. It's kind of hard to talk in there. But we got an email of mushroom. Kyra did good. Just kind of hung out, laid around. We're letting her use the bathroom. And our way out, I'm going to take some video and show you guys what all there is to do here. There's arcades. There's Ferris wheels. A bunch of places to eat. A bunch of places to drink if you're into that. And it's easier if I just show you guys. So let's go.
So we're gonna head back home. That's all we're gonna do in the island today. So if you guys are looking for more dog friendly places in the Great Smoky Mountains, let me know and I'll be sure to do more videos like this. So if you all like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.